Good morning everyone. Uh, this is going to be a quick clip on how to wire up um, one of these switches on my kick-ass control hub. Uh, I want to run some cable out um, and put an LED light strip on the other side of the canopy. But there's very little information on YouTube on how to actually do it. And it may be simple for some people, but some others might need a little bit of info or confidence to do it themselves. Now, the first thing I want to do is take off the face of my control hub. Okay, so that's the front of the uh, control hub. But if you look at it in detail, it's quite neat, isn't it? Everything has its own place and it's all zip tied up. You can see uh, that's your solar panel. That's the plug uh, down to the alternator. And then you have four 50 amp Anderson plugs. Well, this is the back of those um, uh, control switches that you have out the front. But in detail, and I can touch them because I've, I've pulled the inline fuse out, these little pins are your positives um, that will power whatever appliance you want to put onto it. You can see there's a lot of relays, so they're all connected. And there's so many pins in there is because you've got all the lights at the front of the switch that shows that it's activated when you turn it on. So it looks it looks like there's a lot there, but it's all just relayed together. So it's all sharing the same power. But these individual little pins here will be for the individual appliance for that particular light switch or that switch that you want to actually use. So I need to get a positive onto here and then this is your main positive and these are your negatives now this negative comes down onto this board here and we're going to actually hook onto one of these negative terminals here so I'm going to do that now this is the cable I'm going to be using bought this at uh, JCAR um, geez it looks thin doesn't it but it um, it can take seven and a half amps. And I want to run the LED strip down that ledge of that side, which would be only a meter and a half, a meter and a half. So oh, maximum two amps. So this, this should be okay. It's uh, twin core. So I'm just going to strip it back a bit so I can put it onto the positive and the negative up there. There we go, I've taken a fair bit out of that protective cover. Um, my positive and my negative, and I've stripped it back, and I've stripped it back a fair bit so I can fold it over each other to make it a little bit thicker, so I can try and crimp it into these smaller holes, because uh, I really, I want it to take. So uh, I'll do that now. Okay, wired up. I have my negative onto this negative bar, and that is my positive going onto the second switch panel. Now I don't need to do a fuse because all of these are fused individually. So now I just got to run it down through the bottom here, underneath my box, and I'll run it out to the right. All right, I've just put the 40 amp inline fuse back in. So I just want to test, and I'm using this button here. Yo, beauty. Yeah, how bright that is. Well, there you have it. I've got two switches in now. And my thought is, one's amber, so if there's heaps of insects around the campsite. And then a bright white to kind of light up the canopy if you need to start looking at stuff in the middle of the night. This will light up all the canopy. Anyway, just adding more to uh, to the 12 volt setup. I've now got the uh, solar panel in, but uh, heaps of interest in the uh, in the tub build in the 12 volt workspace that we did. So thank you. But um, just a little bit of a information clip for you just on how to wire up. These um, 
off a control box. Cheers.